Um, I'm asking the question. Are you today, saying, Mr. well, Trump you answer one of my questions, I'll answer one of yours. Do you believe that corporations are people? I, I am not going to weigh in on that. I mean, we're going to have a long campaign here, but I want really? to know what you think about Really? Corporations are, that. corporations are people. You won't weigh in on whether some people are people? That <laughs> seems kind of racist, George. <laughs> Uh -huh. I am going to move on because really? one of your top supporters... I bet you will. We could raise taxes on people. That's not the way... That... Corporations! Cor corporations are people, my friend. We can raise taxes on... Of course they are. Everything corporations earn ultimately goes to people. So, where do you think it goes? What, what? Whose pockets? Whose pockets? People's pockets. Okay, human beings, my friend. So and everybody knows that, but that kind of spoils the game that they've been playing on our people. You see the point? When they um, incorporated, turned the republic into a corporation in order to put the Moors later, uh, as they did earlier, solidify the 14th Amendment artificial person in the state of Delaware as Christian property. This is why such persons is called Negro, Black, and Colored, and what do they call themselves this week, can't vote with them names that don't belong to them, except that the overseer, or what you call the CEO, through the Senate, agrees that their cattle can vote. As three-fifths persons, because they have no name and nationality. When you understand these, the history from a law perspective, your view will change from it just being some historical flaw or some little dirty trick that the Europeans do, you would need to understand its political ramifications. Because you transact business in another man's name, don't talk about estates and don't talk about property because you don't even own your own body. And this is where, under the Christian Black Codes, where they set up where the marriage license is registered in the Department of Commerce, then registered in the Department of Orphans, and this is where your children, even before they're born, become wards of the state, which is a legal term for night nice slave. And see, nobody's offended because they know that most of our people don't read law, and so they just hear the word and it's, it's interesting, you know. And then the scholars ain't gonna tell them because they playing this black game. Do you understand? When they know these people aren't black. Uh, a serious case can be made for the need for a constitutional amendment which says simply and straightforwardly, a corporation is not a person. Free speech is a massive issue. It's an absolute massive issue. Corporate personhood is much bigger than that, and that's why when Bernie said, I want a constitutional amendment that says corporations are not people, I was so pleased to hear that, because I know there are some people running around saying, well, we just need to put some limits on the constitutional free speech of corporations. No, I'm sorry, we need to strip corporations of the power that they have in this country. And I'm proud to say that Monday night at our town meeting, we voted to end corporations' constitutional rights and corporate personhood in our community. <laughs> Let us say this, if you ask the average child in elementary school today, and particularly even a few generations back, uh, how did your family become known as Smith? They will tell you, either, oh, that's my grandma's name, or my grandma's side, or my grandpa's name. And you ask them, well, where did they get it from? Oh, they got that from the slave master, which means they're not ignorant, which means they knew the truth. They did nothing to correct it, did they? That's a contract. It's called acquiescence. So it automatically gives the corporate state jurisdiction, which, which the modern word used for the slave is called ward, W-A-R-D. Ward of the state. And the state, not the land, state the corporation. Then you have boards of governors that govern all the states and the commonwealths. Their responsibility is to protect the stock, stock, S-T-O-C-K, of the citizens. Negroes, blacks, and coloreds are stocks, starting with the birth certificate and any other contract you make with them. If you don't understand that, get that together, real quick. So go to the word person, and here we are. Person, under law, it is an entity that is recognized as an individual that has rights in its existence, capable of suing and being sued to enter into contracts to appear in court as well as other powers that are generally available to any recognized entity under law. At times, a person may also refer to a corporation. So we're going to use this chart to break down the word person in law. Okay. Person is of two kinds. 
artificial person and natural person. Artificial person. Persons created and devised by human laws for the purposes of society and government as distinguished from natural persons. Corporations are examples of artificial persons. On to the word natural person. Natural person. A living, breathing human being as opposed to a legal entity such as a corporation. Different rules and protections apply to natural persons and corporations, such as the Fifth Amendment right against self-incrimination, which applies only to natural persons. If you don't understand that, get that together real quick. We're speaking today with Eric Ortz, a professor of legal studies and business ethics at Wharton, about his new book released in September here, uh, titled Business Persons, A Legal Theory of the Firm. Thanks for joining us today, Eric. Oh, you're welcome. I'm happy to be here. The um, book covers a lot of ground, but I think uh, today I'd like to focus on a couple of specific ideas in the book that were very interesting. One has to do with executive compensation, and the second has to do with the Citizens United Supreme Court case. Um, so based on the Citizen United decision, um, corporations are people too, right? Or, or are they? Well, that's one, of the, uh, that's one of the main questions that I try to uh, answer in the book, or at least uh, elucidate. So the title of the book is called Business Persons. And what I mainly argue in much of the book is that corporations are persons, but that doesn't mean that they're people and therefore, as the majority of the Supreme Court said, they have all of the rights, apparently, that people do. Persons, uh, not people. Interesting yeah, so, uh, so Now, it's interesting because actually people are persons in legal terms as well, and so we don't treat all people equally either. So uh, infants are treated differently than adults. Aliens are treated differently than citizens. Uh, slavery was a big issue for many years until uh, rights were accorded to uh, to every person uh, without uh, without any discrimination. So, uh, so the idea of legal persons is quite a deep uh, and difficult idea in the law in general. And what I try to talk about in the book is how businesses are persons, and really it wouldn't make any sense uh, to think of them not as persons, or it would uh, cause a radical revolution in how we uh, how we act every day. Negroes, blacks, and colors are stocks, starting with the birth certificate and any other contract you make with them. If you don't understand that, get that together real quick. And it says the word Negro means a black man. The term Negro means necessarily a person of color. But not every person of color is Negro. Case law following it. Now go to the word colored person, or the word colored in the Black's Law Dictionary, 4th edition. And it states, it has also been held that there is no legal technical signification to the phrase colored person, which the courts are bound judicially to know. Why? Because it's an artificial person. An artificial person is persons created and devised by human laws for the purpose of society and government as distinguished from natural persons. Corporations are examples of artificial persons. Do you understand it? Then you understand why they incorporated you as a, as a being. And it doesn't make corporation itself bad. It means understand what corporation is and understand when someone creates a corporation and tries to pull you into that jurisdiction, whether or not you belong there or if you agreed to it, i.e., whether you challenge that jurisdiction that they created. And what they did, they created Negro, Black, and Color, a set of Christian black codes from the church that set up a system in governance that dealt with the movement of these living beings, which is called chattel property, in a bureaucratic manner under wardship status, wards of the state, as stock being held by the European families with these Asiacs who bear their name, which indicates them as property. And all certifications, certificates, etc., relative to those matters, are f liens are filed against it by the Europeans, and therefore they can smile on your face, and you never know they own you. And then when you get bad treatment, they give you an argument, and that argument is called racism, prejudice, and stuff. And you arguing that, and they really stole your birthright. We're going to use the word Blackmore in the same chart that we use to break down the word person legally. So when we're dealing with the artificial person. 
and black person is on the artificial person side of the word blackamoor and moor or moorish is on the natural person side of the chart so dealing with the black person side of the word blackamoor when we go to black's law dictionary fourth edition we have the word negro and it says the word negro means a black man the term Negro means necessarily a person of color, but not every person of color is Negro. Case law following. It. Now go to the word colored person or the word colored. In the Black's Law Dictionary, fourth edition. And it states it has also been held that there is no legal technical signification to the phrase colored person, which the courts are bound judicially to know. Why? Because it's an artificial person. An artificial person is persons created and devised by human laws for the purpose of society and government as distinguished from natural persons. Corporations are examples of artificial persons. So, Moorish person. Go to onlineetymologydictionary.com and you're going to go to Moorish. Moorish means by definition of or pertaining to Moors, okay? And when you go to the definition of Moor, go to the highlighted section you see on our screen. It says, being a dark people in relation to Europeans. Now, that's describing a natural person. So Moorish person in this chart, natural person, a living, breathing human being, as opposed to a legal entity such as a corporation, different rules and protections apply to natural persons and corporations, such as the Fifth Amendment right against self-incrimination, which applies only to natural persons. Listen to an officer's words when a woman says she was afraid to move her hands. Remember, we only kill black people. Yeah, we only kill black people, right? That's exclusive dash cam video. New at 6, the officer is trying to explain himself. Live, local, late breaking. This is Channel 2 Action News at 6 p.m. Coverage you can count on. Good evening, I'm Justin Farm. I'm Javita Moore. Only Channel 2 Action News got dash cam video of a DUI stop. Now, we want you to listen because it's the officer's words, not his actions here, that have him under an internal investigation. Channel 2's investigative reporter, Mark Winnie, is live at Cobb County Police Headquarters. And Mark, the officer's attorney says he was only trying to get that woman to comply. Yeah, in fact, we were led to believe the officer was eager, in fact, uh, to tell his side uh, to go on camera, but his attorney intervened. We do, however, have a detailed statement from that attorney, but first the video. Use your phone. It's in your lap okay, right there. I just don't want to put my hands down. I'm really sorry. I'm just... It's just really long. No, no, no. I've just been way too many videos of problems. But you're not black. Remember, we only kill black people. Yeah, we only kill black people, right? All the videos you've seen, have you seen black people get killed? Yeah. Register says the speaker is Lieutenant Greg Abbott and indicated he has been assigned to administrative duties pending the outcome of the investigation. The register says the recording is part of a DUI stop and a female passenger indicates she was hesitant to put her hands down to pick up a cell phone because she didn't want to get shot. Lawyer Suri Chata Jimenez says he represented the driver in the DUI case. It makes you cringe when you hear it. Chata Jimenez says he believes the officer was being sarcastic after the passenger gave him some lip, but the fear minorities have when stopped is real. But it's still unacceptable. The chief says Abbott has been a heretofore good officer and he's not aware of any racial bias complaints.